guys, Anna Quinn here. So I've had an absolutely insane week. I apologize that I never uploaded my light day video. Um, and I'd like to be a little bit more professional and a little bit better with my blogging than this. But I would rather have some good leg day content up for y'all than wait a whole nother week. So what I'm going to do um, here is what I recorded for leg day. Uh, the very last clip was something I had already pre-recorded. So the last clip I'm in a different outfit. But this is a really great leg day. Um, I'll try to post all of the sets and reps and the names of the exercises on it. Um, and then just keep the sound on because I'm using a voiceover. I'm doing a voiceover the whole entire time to explain the form. Um, if you have any questions, feel, blah, 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 please feel free to email me um, or comment below and I will answer all of your questions. Thank you guys so much and y'all have. All right, guys. So this is the first exercise. This is going to be resistance band Romanian deadlifts or stiff leg deadlifts. A uh, couple key things that I want to point out here. The first thing is going to be make sure that all of the weight is in your heels. The second thing is going to be make sure that your back stays completely flat the whole entire time and your chest stays up. You don't want to arch your back. The third thing is make sure you're feeling a really deep stretch in the back of your legs. When you do a Romanian deadlift, any kind of stiff leg deadlift, you want to make sure that your hips are moving back just as much as you're bending forward. So if your hips aren't moving backwards, you shouldn't keep bending forward. Notice that when my hips stop moving, I stop moving. Make sure you squeeze your bottom as hard as you can at the top. Squeezing here, stretching here, squeezing here, so on and so forth. If there's anything that I can say is the most effective thing you can do before a leg day, is warm up your hamstrings and your glutes so that all the exercises you do affect them more. This next exercise is cable donkey kicks. I am using a ball here just to make sure that I have, uh, I'm using my stabilizing muscles, I'm balancing a little bit, and it conforms to your body so you're not able to overcompensate by kicking or moving. This kind of takes the shape of your body so you kind of have to maintain balance and maintain good form. I'm kicking up, pausing a little bit at the top and trying to control it a little on the way down. This is one of my last sets, so I was getting a little fatigued here. It's a really great exercise for your glutes. Okay, so this next exercise is really, really great for your hamstrings. Uh, if you don't have an isolated hamstring curl machine, this is a really great way to isolate your hamstrings and ensure good form. So your knee is flat on the ground. Ignore the guy that just stepped on my bottom. Um, your knee is flat on the ground so that you have to use your hamstrings. If you feel your knee coming off the ground, you know you're doing this exercise improperly. So make sure you're really squeezing. I like to pause at the top and then just kind of relax my foot as I go down to make sure that I'm not holding any tension in my calves. You will feel hamstring curls a little bit in your calves. That's completely normal. You just want to make sure that you're really thinking about your hamstrings while you're doing this movement to ensure that you're fully engaging them. Okay, so this exercise is gonna make your quads burn. I was standing on a decline bench. Notice that my foot that is going on the ground is behind my leg. So I'm not stepping out to the side. I'm stepping up and forward with the leg that's on the bench. So up and forward. That's why the, my left leg keeps coming down behind my right leg. Um, so just make sure you're not doing a side step here. You're not gonna feel it as much in your quads if you are. And make sure that you really stand all the way up, tuck your hips underneath, and don't lock out your knee. I did three, three or four sets of 15 on these um, after I did uh, single leg leg extensions. Okay guys, so this is uh, just another form of Romanian deadlifts. Um, I did these with resistance bands to warm up, but I also like to do them with heavier weight too. Notice that I'm not bringing my hips all the way forward and squeezing my bottom. I'm bringing them most of the way forward, but I'm not squeezing today during this exercise just because I wanna keep constant tension on the muscles. Um, Sometimes I do squeeze, sometimes I don't. It just depends on what my workout layout for the day is. If I feel like I'm not hitting underneath my glutes a lot, then I try to uh, squeeze. And if I feel like I'm, I'm doing other things that are gonna uh, hit my glutes in all different areas, then I like to keep constant tension on them a little bit more. 
And this here is your burnout. Five sets of 10 to 12. By the end, you shouldn't be able to do 10 to 12. A couple things to point out. One, my heels are together. My toes are pointed out. Um, I'm almost frog-legged on this, so my knees are bent and my heels are together. I'm only going about halfway down. My back stays flat. And then I come up and I squeeze as hard as I can with my glutes and my hamstrings. Your glutes and your hamstrings should be the only thing hurting. This is not for your lower back. Keep your back straight and keep your knees bent and enjoy.